Today we begin the most holy season of Lent. This is an incredible opportunity for us, especially in these times, to turn to the Lord. Of course, the church gives us the path to follow through fasting, through prayer, through sacrifice, through doing good works for the sake of others, and certainly for being generous with our time and with our talents. Those are the things that make a difference in our lives as we grow us spiritually, and those are the things that help us grow in the lives of other people, the faith of Jesus Christ. I hope that we use well these days. It's important that we draw closer to Christ, especially in the times in which we are living. This day in particular is being dedicated to the people of Ukraine, our fasting and prayers for them. It gives them hope to know that people around the world are praying for them during this horrible time, and that they know they're not alone with all that they are going through. But it's also a reminder every other day that we can lift people up in hope by just giving some time, some care, some love to them. That's what this season is all about. It's about emptying ourselves so that we can fill the lives of other people. Emptying ourselves so that Christ can fill us with his grace. And emptying ourselves so that we appreciate what we have and appreciating what we have, being willing to share that with others. I pray that this Lent is a blessed time for each of us. We need these days. Please take advantage of them. Grow in your faith, grow in your love. And I can assure you when you come to Easter Sunday, and if you have prayed, and if you have fasted, if you have sacrificed, Easter will take on a whole new meaning for you. And you'll certainly be filled with the hope and the promise that that great feast holds for all of us.